Last month marked the passing of venerable CBS newsman Mike Wallace, and it was truly the end of an era when television news relied on something now quaint and out of date, news. <laughs> Yet Mike Wallace, ever since he's left television, his accomplishments seem to be insignificant. I remember we all used to sit around and watch him interview a bad guy, and we'd all root for him to find the truth, especially if it was somebody we really hated, like the Ayatollah Khomeini or Barbara Streisand. <laughs> But now everybody's rooting for themselves, and everybody's opinion matters more than everybody else's opinion, and it requires an increasing amount of cruelty just to keep up. For proof of this, go to YouTube. C click on any clip and look at the fourth person's comment. The fourth <laughs> commenter always viciously rips the third commenter because the fourth commenter is always a jerk. <laughs> And then the fifth person, the newcomer, tries to find common ground for everybody. And for that, the sixth person impugns his sexuality. <laughs> you know, it used to be that television news spent a lot of time investigating corruption, but that's all over now because all the money's in corruption. And we're never gonna see another newsman like Mike Wallace. And if we ever do, he's gonna be interviewing Justin Bieber about his new haircut. <laughs> Okay, well, I have my mighty audience here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not gonna tell you how many they are, but you need more than two hands to count them. <laughs> and let's just get settled in for the show today. Let's check out and make sure everybody's doing okay. Let's go over to Fox News, make sure they're okay at Fox I News. I wanna start at the beginning, because this is important. You gotta start to make the case. Barack Obama is ruining America. He's destroying everything that makes us great. Okay, everything's good at Fox News. <laughs> Let's check in with the fear-mongering in Congress. How's the fear-mongering? We're about 24 hours from, from Armageddon. <laughs> Folks, that's not Armageddon. That's Armageddon. <laughs> that's when they kill you with an armadillo. <laughs> okay, let's, you know what? Things are so bad in America, even Chuck Norris is upset. That's right, Chuck You're Norris. You're not happy with the direction of the country. Oh, heck no, you know, it, it's hey, really, you know, I feel like I'm in a nightmare yep. and I can't wake up, John. And, uh, and I really don't, you know, I wish I knew what to do. You know, the thing is, I have solutions, but... But they all involve hair dye and kicking. <laughs> okay. So the big story of this summer is gonna be Obamacare, the health care bill. And everybody's trying to see, oh, maybe it's unconstitutional, so the Supreme Courts might throw it out. But you know what? We do have a health care problem in America, and you can't solve a health care problem until you identify exactly what it is. What's the solution? What's the problem? First, Rush Limbaugh lets us know what the problem is. You heard him say, the overweight. Yeah, folks, I got to tell you something. I, I, I think those of you that regularly exercise, playing softball, baseball, basketball, soccer, mountain biking, running, rock climbing, skiing, skating, running, First of all, I think it's hilarious he had to read a list of physical activities. <laughs> okay, there's more. Playing softball, baseball, basketball, soccer, mountain biking, running, rock climbing, skiing, skating, running. You're the people getting injured. You're the people showing up at the hospital with busted knees and tendons and skin cancer, ankle sprains, knee and hip replacements, broken bones, concussions, muscle, ligament, tendon, cartilage strains and tears, tendonitis, rotator cuff tears. All you exercise freaks, you're the ones putting stress on the healthcare system. Yeah, see? You exercise freaks. It's you're the problem with the healthcare system. And after the show tonight, I want you to all do something. I want you to go to Ralph's. I want you to get yourself a skid of cheesecake and a keg of Dr. Pepper and go home and do something for your country. <laughs> okay. But you know, what are we supposed to eat? How do you stay healthy anyway? That's the problem. We're all eating more unhealthily, but you can't eat anything anymore. You can't eat meat because it's got the mad cow. You can't have chicken because it's got all the hormones. You can't eat fish because it's got mercury. What am I supposed to eat? So I turned on CNN. CNN, what am I supposed to more eat? More the guidance seems to be from cake mixes to granola bars to ice creams to nuts themselves. Go through your pantry and get rid of everything. <laughs> That's crazy, right? I mean, who puts ice cream in their pantry? <laughs> now, the health care bill, the, everybody in Congress is against it if you're a Republican, especially Joe Wilson. You remember Joe Wilson, right? He was the guy who yelled out, you lie, to Barack Obama when he was giving his speech to the joint session of Congress. That's right. And he actually had a press conference where he called Obamacare the Pelosi health care bill. And at the same time he was denouncing it, he tried to make sure he was going to get a free lunch for life. 
I think you'll see what I'm talking about. I was at a uh, luncheon uh, at Enchilada's Mexican restaurant at Hilton Head Island. I want to give credit to the people who were there. Uh, uh, this was largely uh, senior citizens concerned about the Pelosi uh, takeover bill. And over and over again, they would bring up that if this uh, government-run plan, public option, is so good, why don't members of Congress take the plan? It's because it's too expensive is what they would say. But you know what's not too expensive? Lunch at Enchilada's Mexican restaurant. <laughs> if you go there, tell them Joe Wilson sent you. Ask for one. Call him a liar. Get 10% off. <laughs>